Hey everybody, Abolitionist Jay here with today's vlog. It's currently about 7 p.m. on June 18th, 2018. Murder Dog and I are currently... Oh, where are we? Oh, we're at Wontel Park. We just uh, came from the dog park. We had a... Uh, we had an eventful day, but it had a uh, somewhat sad ending. We uh, found out that... Uh, Pretty much for sure now, the girls and the wife are not going to be coming to Michigan. Uh, they went to the doctor today, and one of the girls is pretty sick. She has a lot of upper respiratory stuff going on, and uh, they gave her a whole bunch of medication to go home with. So, yeah, she's not going anywhere. Since she's not going anywhere, that means the wife isn't going anywhere. The wife doesn't feel very well anyway, um, which means the other daughter is not going anywhere either. Um because, uh, well, I started the day by getting up and uh, taking a shower after I, I skipped yesterday. You know, I had that nice stretch of six days in a row, which is some kind of record for me. <laughs> um, and then uh, went over to go see the, see them really quickly because I had to go pick up my mining rig, which uh, the wife had been holding on to because my buddy Tyrone finally was available for me to drop it off at his house. And so we went and saw the kids for like a minute. Because, uh, again, they were sick, and I didn't really want them coming outside for very long. So uh, picked up the miner, headed off to my buddy's house, got to talk to him for a little bit. Uh, actually chatted with his son, who I'm leaving I'm leaving my miner in his hands. He knows n virtually nothing about crypto mining, but he is a bit of a computer geek. And uh, I told him to have at it. I told him he could have fun with it, learn, you know, do whatever he wants. Um, you know, I'm still trying to sell the thing, but it's not functional at the moment anyway. Number one, I didn't have any place to go with it. Number two, as I've mentioned, the, window, the last Windows update screwed the drivers on it. So I was going to have to start over from scratch, or at least a couple of friends of mine who have had, uh, who had the same type of setup uh, told me that's pretty much what they had to do is they had to start from a clean Windows install and build it back up again. So that's going to have to be done anyway. So I told him, you know, told my friend's son, hey, if you want to learn, you want to play, uh, you know, go for it. Uh, your dad has my number. Call me with any questions and uh, have fun. <laughs> Uh, because my, my friend did say that if, uh, if his son actually got into it, he would consider buying it for him. So, you know, we'll see, but either way it's there, it's safe. It's, uh, it's out of, uh, out of my wife's hands. So it's not, you know, it's not in her way anymore. And, uh, hopefully I could sit there for a little while and, you know, may maybe they'll purchase it. Maybe somebody else will buy it, whatever. So we did that, and then we headed off to the storage unit, uh, which was uh, further out east on Long Island because I had to pick up the rest of the camping stuff because originally I had only packed just my camping gear with me because it was going to be murder dog and I in the car and I left all the rest of the stuff, you know, the, the kids stuff, uh, or, you know, the extra games and sleeping bags and all that stuff, uh, in the, uh, in the storage unit. So I went today to go pick all that up and then I dropped some stuff off. I got rid of, I finally got rid of that dog ramp. Uh, I got rid of the suitcase. Uh, I actually, I had ordered a duffel bag. It's actually, I believe it got delivered today. I haven't gone to the Amazon locker to pick it up yet. But, uh, and then I realized I probably could have got away without ordering it because I forgot that I uh, I have two of those very large uh, dry bags that we I used to use for my rafting trips all the time. Um, and, uh, I thought I only had one of them with me, which had become my uh, dirty laundry bag. And then when I was up in the whatchamacallit, up in the uh, car carrier earlier today, I realized, oh no, there's a second one in here. So I probably could have used that instead of the duffel bag, but duffel bag's already here. We'll, uh, we'll go pick that up a little later and see, uh, see what it's about. And, you know, may maybe I'll send it back. I don't know. Chances are I won't. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so uh, actually, unfortunately, I had to spend a couple hours there at the storage unit because I did not pack everything up front as I thought I had, uh, so I had to move things around a little bit to get to some of the stuff, and then, of course, I had to, like, pretty much tear apart the car carrier, or at least, you know, what was inside, and start all over again, because I was, remo you know, removing stuff and putting new stuff in, so I had to shift everything around, so that took me a couple hours, and it was pretty hot out there, so that was, uh, that was enjoyable. <laughs> Uh, but I finally got all that done, and then uh, the the wife told me that she was taking the kids to the doctor, and it, the, by, by the looks of it, it seemed like I had just enough time to continue a little further eastward to out to the Indian Reservation to pick up some cheap cancer sticks, because, well, they sell them for like three forty a pack back over there versus like the $9, $10 they are normally at the stores. So since I was already most of the way out there, I figured I would go the rest of the way, 
and I did. And then uh, when I was done, uh, my wife said they were they're actually headed to the doctor's appointment. So I went to go meet them there because they had Murder Dog with them. Uh, Because I had dropped her off when I picked up the miner earlier. So, number one, I had room for the miner and some of the extra boxes that went with it in the car. Uh, The wife was also nice enough to uh, do all my laundry for me. Originally, I had asked her just to do the blankets because, you know, I have the blanket in the back that Murder Dog sleeps on that I originally was planning on sleeping on. But since I've been sleeping in my seat, I haven't needed it. Uh, And the blanket that I do use for sleeping, I had asked her to do those since I didn't have to pay the extra money at the laundromat. And then when I saw her this morning, she said she could take all of, you know, all of my laundry. So she she was nice enough to do that for me. (laughs) Um, So, you know, all that stuff was out of the car. Uh, And then I, you know, loaded up the car with the rest of the camping stuff and then went and got the cigarettes and then met them at the, uh, at the doctor's office. And unfortunately, shortly after I got there, they came back out. They were done already. And yeah, the doctor said, she's the one daughter, pretty darn sick. So they're just, you know, no way she's coming to, there's no way she's going to recover enough to be able to be in the car come Wednesday and uh, driving, you know, for all that time. So I'm kind of bummed, you know, this is now the second time in three years that at the last minute they uh, weren't able to come. So, you know, I'm bummed that they're not going to be there. Um, I'm bummed that the wife's not going to be there because, well, this was going to be her first experience. This was going to be her first time to meet any of uh, any of the Ann fam. And, uh, you know, I'm also just kind of bummed that, uh, of how it happened. Cause you know, three years ago when this happened, it, it sucked, but it was, you know, my one daughter broke her foot. There was nothing we could do about that. And then it was literally the day we were supposed to leave. My other daughter got sick and it was supposed to, it was just going to be me and her at that point. Uh, you know, once we, once I knew the, the other one couldn't come because of her foot, it was just going to be the two of us who were going to go. And then she got sick. And, you know, this time because of everything going on and, and because I already went out to the storage unit and picked up all the stuff and didn't pick up my, my car seats because, you know, the two back seats, uh, the rear seats for my vehicle are in the storage unit. I didn't pick those up. And then I come back and find that, oh, they can't come. And I'm supposed to give the storage place like 48 hours notice before I show up to take stuff out. So, and it's, it's a little bit of a hike. So I, you know, probably I'm not going to be able to drive back out there again. And, uh, it just, you know, not going to work out. So, Looks like it's just going to be Murder Dog and I, you know, on one hand, I, it, it's, it's nice because I, I get to relax a little bit more. I don't have to keep my eye on them constantly. And, you know, like the first year when it was just Murder Dog and I, I obviously had a lot of fun. We, you know, partied, we partied our, partied our asses off, um, you know, but the last year, completely different experience with the kids, but it was still a great time. And this year, I was really looking forward to bringing them back again because they had so much fun and, and bringing the wife. And, you know, it would be a, it would be a third new experience, you know, for the third year in a row. You know, first just Murder Dog and I, then Murder Dog I and the kids, and then, and then the whole family. But, yeah, not going to happen. So... I had actually contemplated just picking up and leaving now. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's Monday, but... Unfortunately, I, I may, you know, I don't know if I'm going to get to see the girls too much the next couple of days anyway, because, you know, when they're sick, I don't really get to see them because they have, and we need them to stay inside so they can hopefully get better. And that means, you know, if they stay inside where they live. I'm not supposed to be there as we've talked about before. So I don't even know how much I'm going to see them over the next couple of days. And, you know, I was just kind of bummed when I found the news and I contemplated just picking up and leaving now, but uh, yeah, I, unfortunately, uh, that just doesn't, well, I, I, I was, I was tempted, but, and, and, and actually I'll, I'll probably regret it if I stick around and then don't get to see them for the next two days, but I'm going to stick around just in case, because, you know, as, as I've talked about, I didn't get to see them for a week, you know, and then since they've been back, I've barely got to see them because they, you know, one of them started to get sick and then everything, you know, with the, with the scheduling and everything. So I've barely seen him this week and now I'm going to pick up and leave again. And well, I'm picking up and leaving because I have this, I had this planned out for a very long time. Uh, I only get to do this once a year and you know, I will miss my kids, but you know, I'm not going to lose all the tickets. I mean, I already paid for tickets for all of us. Uh, I'm hopefully gonna, I, I put the word out. So hopefully some, somebody's going to be able to make use of, of the extra tickets that I have. Uh, I'm not going to get any money back for them or anything. I'm just going to give them to somebody. So at least somebody will be able to use them. But if I just, you know, threw away all the tickets and just said, screw it, I'm not going at all. uh, I'd be mad at myself for that too. So uh, it's kind of like a no win situation. I mean, I'm sure once I get out there, I'll have fun, but you know, I'm just, I'm bummed. I, I really wanted this to happen. 
And, uh, you know, unfortunately, because of the wife's prior decision to go take the trip that I begged her not to, they got sick on that trip. And now, you know, now our, tri- our trip is screwed up. So, <sighs> so yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty much the day, you know, like I said, it's only about seven now, but found that news out about shortly after four o'clock and murder dog and I just kind of slowly drove around after that cause didn't really know what else to do. And then we came down to the, I uh, came down to the park. I made myself a little food. Of course it's windy as all get out right now. So using the camping stove was uh, interesting. I had to like hide it behind my tire to try to be able to make sure that, you know, the wind was blocked somewhat. And, uh, and then we came to the dog park and hung out for a little while. She was not very excited about it today. So we didn't stay very long, you know, as opposed to yesterday where we ended up hanging out for three hours, uh, because, you know, it was much nicer. There was a lot of people. I was in conversations with a lot of people and she was, you know, I mean, she's laid down and slept for part of it, but she was also interacting with the other dogs yesterday. Today, she just didn't really care. So since, since she didn't care and it was windy, we just, we cleared out of there and, uh, yeah, now we're, uh, now we're going to go find some Wi-Fi and uh, upload this and check on some other uh, stuff, uh, you know, look look some things up and, you know, then set ourselves up for the night and go to sleep. And then tomorrow we'll do it all over again and, you know, like I said, probably end up leaving Wednesday morning just by ourselves now and, you know... Maybe maybe get out there Wednesday night, I guess. I mean, technically, I don't think the fest starts until Thursday, but I know the, the organizers will be there the night before, and I'm pretty sure I'm in good enough with a couple of those. <laughs> Lou, I'm sure you'll be there. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure they'll let me in. So, so yeah, Murder Dog and I will probably take off uh, by ourselves on, on one Wednesday uh, morning, you know, early afternoon. We'll see. And then uh, then it'll be fest time. And uh, I'm going to do my best. I mean, I'm going to keep recording vlogs. As I've said, I plan on recording a bunch of podcasts while I'm up there. It's, you know, I may not, I may have an issue uploading those vlogs, though. I mean, I've really been trying to do these every day. Once I get up there, if I don't have any Wi Fi, then uh, I'm not going to upload them because I'm not going to, I'm not going to use the data I have to upload things. That'll, you know, that'll just kill all my data in a day or two. So, you know, we're, we'll try our best, but they're, either way, when once we're done, there'll definitely be better, plenty of content, and uh, hopefully, I mean, worst case scenario, we won't even have to wait till we get back, all the way back to New York, because, as I mentioned, uh, Shane Radliff and I are going to go ahead to see Ben Stone after the fest, and I'm pretty sure Ben has Wi-Fi I can use, uh, <laughs> so I can upload all this stuff when I get there, you know, worst case scenario, but anyway, that's about it for today. Oh, I did have one thing from last night. I was actually going to record. I recorded a little video yesterday, and I mentioned it in yesterday's vlog. I still have not posted that yet. I'll probably post that tomorrow, uh, just because I, you know, I was away and I was busy all day, so I didn't have a chance to upload anything. And by the time I upload this vlog, um, it's going to be get you know eight, nine o'clock, whatever. I'm not going to post another one later than that. So that'll probably wait tomorrow. But I almost recorded a second one last night. Uh, sometime around like one o'clock in the morning because murder dog and I went out for our last walk around 1am and it was, uh, you know, as luck would have it, uh, first off we get out of the car and we go, we go, we go to walk and we turn, we turn the, we, we, we're in a parking lot and we get out of the car and we turn the corner, you know, we're walking down the block and we, we, we turn down this one block and it was it was as if somebody was just trying to mess with us, but apparently at exactly 1.01 a.m., a, a set of sprinklers gets turned on that stretches a good, you know, three or four house lengths, and we were right in the middle of it when it happened, and then just all of a sudden, like, out of nowhere, just one oh one in the morning, just all of a sudden I hear, and I'm like, what's that? And before I could finish the sentence, murder dog gets blasted in the face, I get hit in the thigh, <laughs> so we ended up getting soaked. Uh, just trying to go out for our last walk. Um, so that was entertaining. Um, it did make me glad that I didn't take a shower, though, because I had actually contemplated taking a shower uh, sometime around midnight when Planet Fitness opened back up again. And uh, I just decided against it because we, we were sitting in the car and I was watching a movie, and I was just like, oh, I'll take care of it in the morning. And I'm kind of glad I didn't because if I had taken a shower and gotten all clean and then got blasted with cold water uh, you know, in, in my clean clothes, I just, I, you know, I probably would have uh, just, you know, been really pissed off at that point <laughs> uh but yeah that was entertaining there was actually another part to that story oh, murder dog shaking her head you making noise back there murder dog um so yeah 
That's uh, the, I I thought that was entertaining. There was another part to that too. Now I can't remember it because it's just been a, one of those days. But anyway, so yeah, that's that's pretty much what's been up. But I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this uh, now because oh, I don't have much else to say other than I'm bummed that my kids and my wife wife aren't coming uh, to the fest. But you know the show must go on, right? Anyway, uh, that will be it for today. Thank you everybody as always for listening and watching. And uh, we'll check back in tomorrow. Abolitionist Jay, out. Peace.